Acupuncture Management of Spinal Cord Injury Excessive traumatic force damage to the vertebra and spinal cord causes a patient to lose skin, musculature and neurological function. The skin, musculature and tendon receptors may receive sensory input via the efferenta but the nerve impulse cannot get through the damaged segment of the spinal cord and the ascending sensory impulse to the brain cortex. Below the severely damaged segment of the spinal cord, the spinal nerves may lose the neurological function and begin to degenerate. The central nervous system does not receive any stimulation from the skin receptors below the lesion of the spinal cord. Therefore, the central nervous system is unable to send any descending impulse to the muscles. This causes the musculature to lose function and gradually atrophy. The main aim of acupuncture treatment is to use the neurological science and special needle insertion techniques to rebuild the deficit of the neurological pathways between the receptors, spinal nerve, spinal cord and motor cortex and regain the skin sensation and musculature movement. During a long period of clinical practices and observation, the filiform needle insertion technique is able to rebuild this neurological deficit and allow skin sensation and musculature recovery. The following three case studies demonstrate that the recovery of a complete transection lesion of the cord requires a longer treatment than an incomplete transverse lesion to the cord. The position is incorrect. The lesion in the cervical segment of the cord requires longer treatment than the lesion in the thoracic and lumbar segment of the cord. The, tip of the, the associate severe wound tissue surrounding the spine the must be removed with acupuncture treatment as soon as possible. Bone. A large scar tissue formed on the site of the vertebra frequently interferes with the spinal nerve and the spinal cord recovery. Completely relax. Three case studies. Case study one. Nineteen-year-old male involved in a car accident. Complete transection lesion of the spinal cord. Quadriplegia. Recovery time four years. Hospital management. Hospital diagnosis. Spinal cord injury. Fracture C6. Forward subluxation of C5 and C6. C6 complete transection lesion quadriplegia. The discharge summary from hospital states that the patient would remain a quadriplegic and would require a wheelchair for mobility permanently. The comment from the rehabilitation centre was that the patient had little motivation to improve physically and achieve functional independence. His functional assessment was level one, total assistance. After acupuncture treatment. Respond, okay. The patient attends acupuncture here. treatment three times a week. You can see the same thing, okay? You can see the same thing. At 15 months, the patient uses calipers with a chest support. He is able to stand on a stand table for 30 minutes. At three years, the patient starts walking. 
The patient is able to move his body forward while standing and with the aid of walking calipers and a walking frame. The patient was swinging his upper portion of the trunk to move his body forward with walking calipers that provide support up to his chest. The needle insertion sensation could be felt at T4, T5 spine level. At four years, the patient is able to walk confidently. The patient was able to use his lumbar and abdominal warm musculature strength to mobilize his legs and move forward with walking calipers, pelvic support and a walking frame. He was able to walk 100 meters without stopping. The needle insertion sensation could be felt at T6 spine level. Case study two. A 21-year-old male involved in a motorcycle accident. Severe trauma. Complete T5 paraplegia. Recovery time? 10 years. Hospital diagnosis. Severe trauma. Complete T5 paraplegia with complete loss of motor power and sensation below T5. Fracture and dislocation of T4 and T5. Three years after the accident, an MRI revealed syringomyelia extending from C1 to level T4. After six months of hospitalization, the discharge stated that the patient would remain a paraplegic permanently and would require a wheelchair for mobility. After 11 weeks in a rehabilitation center, the discharge summary confirmed that the patient remained poorly motivated. The specialist debited his life expectancy between 5 and 10 percent. The high level of the lesion interfered significantly with the stability of his trunk, thus making his independence in transfers more difficult. The physician considered it likely that the back pain would trouble the patient significantly for the rest of his days, seriously interfering with his capacity to undertake long periods of sitting and requiring him to be recumbent periodically. Spasm of the patient's legs would compound his physical problems when attempting transfers and would certainly make him more dependent upon others. After acupuncture treatment. The patient attended acupuncture treatment three times a week. In the first year after the accident, the patient involved an insurance company to claim compensation and this created a lot of mental stress and difficulty. In this case, the damage to the spine, spinal cord and tissues surrounding the spine was severe and a specialist concluded that life expectancy was low. After 10 years of acupuncture treatment, the main pain syndrome of the right shoulder and arm is relieved. The patient is able to sit straight and lift his body up when he sits in the wheelchair and also independently move in and out of the wheelchair. <whistles> he 
He's also able to drive a specially modified motor vehicle and walk with calipers on specifically made parallel bars. He feels happy with his future and his life. Case study three, a 22-year-old female involved in a motor vehicle accident. Incomplete transverse lesion of the spinal cord, quadriplegia. Recovery time, one year. Hospital diagnosis. C5 and C6 incomplete quadriplegia. Subluxation and fracture of C4 and C5. Anterior cervical C5 and C6 fixation and disectomy. The patient sustained spinal injuries which resulted in C5 and C6 incomplete tetraplegia. After three months of hospitalization, the discharge stated that the patient would require a wheelchair for mobility. After six months of hospitalization, the rehabilitation center's discharge summary stated that the patient sustained spinal cord injuries, which resulted in C5 and C6 incomplete tetraplegia. She is now in a wheelchair, though has attained a high level of independence. Good. Move again. Oh. After acupuncture treatment. The patient attends acupuncture treatment twice a week. Okay. She can flex very high, but the position is not the same like the left leg. Okay. At six months. Six months after acupuncture treatment, the patient is able to stand with the help of a friend. Left leg's not long, see? Oh, one minute, lock that leg? No, she does. No, she's not. Her leg won't lock. Ten months after acupuncture treatment, the patient is able to flex her thigh up to her hip and walk with a frame. Relaxing to it, okay? You can do it. Good girl. Yes, very good. Now come. Very good. Good. Yes. Two more fist step and then you can sit. Go to the right. You all right? Okay. Now sit down. Ready? Yep. Cool. Oh, your feet are all over the place. That's okay. You're still intact. No, thank you, my dear. Thank you, Matt. That was great, Stella. So she, she did very well. Conclusion. This presentation aims only to bring into greater awareness that which the authors believe to be an effective treatment modality for spinal cord injuries, for which our current therapeutic options are limited. In principle, acupuncture serves to rebuild the ruptures in the neurological pathway between the spinal nerve, the spinal cord, and the motor cortex, thereby re-establishing a network of communication, and thus regaining skin sensation and musculature movement.